Why are YouTube intros so important? Ever click on a video and immediately feel lost? You're not alone. Many viewers experience this and it can be quite frustrating. A strong intro acts like a welcoming handshake, setting the stage and making viewers feel comfortable. It's the first impression you make and it can determine whether someone stays or leaves. Without it, they're more likely to bounce. Imagine walking into a room and not knowing what's going on. You'd probably leave too. Think of your intro as the first few seconds of a first date. It's your opportunity to make a memorable impression. You want to make a good impression, right? Just like you'd dress well and be on your best behavior on a date, your intro should be polished and engaging. A well-crafted intro instantly tells viewers what your video is about and why they should stick around. It sets expectations and gives them a reason to invest their time. It's your chance to hook them and promise value. A compelling intro can turn a casual viewer into a loyal subscriber. Action time. Think about your favorite YouTube intros. What elements do they have in common? Is it the music, the visuals, or the way they introduce the content? What makes them so captivating? Is it the energy, the clarity, or the promise of something exciting? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think makes a great YouTube intro and how it impacts your viewing experience. How long should my intro be? We live in a fast-paced world. People have short attention spans. Aim for an intro that's no longer than five to eight seconds. Get to the point quickly before viewers lose interest and click away. Remember, brevity is your friend. A concise intro that delivers the goods will keep viewers engaged and eager to see more. Action time. Take a look at your latest YouTube video intro. Is it under eight seconds? If not, how can you make it snappier? Share your ideas below. What makes a good YouTube intro? This is a question every content creator should ask themselves. A good intro is like a good appetizer. It should make you hungry for more. Just as a well-crafted appetizer sets the stage for a memorable meal, a compelling intro sets the stage for your video. It clearly introduces your video's topic, sets the tone, and piques viewers' curiosity. Think of it as the hook that grabs their attention and makes them want to stick around. Think about what your audience wants to know. What are their interests, their pain points, and their desires? Understanding your audience is key to crafting an intro that resonates with them. What problem are you solving for them? Your intro should hint at the solution or the value your video will provide, making it clear why they should keep watching. Make your intro relevant and exciting, leaving them eager to see what you have to offer. Use engaging visuals, compelling music, and a strong narrative to draw them in. Action time. Time to brainstorm. Gather your ideas and think about how you can make your intro stand out. Jot down three things you want viewers to take away from your next video. These could be key points, emotions, or actions you want them to feel or do. Now, how can you weave those into a captivating intro? Consider the pacing, the visuals, and the words you use. Every element should work together to create a cohesive and engaging start to your video. How do I create a hook that grabs attention? The first few seconds of your video are critical. Start with a bang. Ask a thought-provoking question, share a shocking statistic, or use a captivating visual. Think about what would make you stop scrolling and pay attention. Your hook should be irresistible, promising something valuable or entertaining. Action time. What's your go-to attention-grabbing tactic? Share your favorite ways to hook viewers in the comments. What are some examples of great YouTube intros? Let's learn from the best. Channels like Casey Neistat and Vox are masters of the engaging intro. They use quick cuts, compelling music, 
and clear branding to draw viewers in. Study their techniques and see how you can adapt them to your style. Remember, inspiration is everywhere. Action time. Have you seen an intro lately that blew you away? Share the link and tell us what made it so effective. How can I use humor effectively in my intro? Laughter is a powerful tool. A well-placed joke or funny anecdote can instantly make you more relatable and memorable. But remember, humor is subjective. Keep it light, relevant to your content, and avoid anything offensive. When in doubt, it's better to err on the side of caution. Action time. Think about your favorite comedians. How can you infuse their style of humor into your intros? How do I incorporate branding into my intro? Consistency is key for building a recognizable brand. When you think about your brand, what comes to mind? Is it a specific color scheme, a unique font, or a memorable logo? These elements are crucial in creating a cohesive brand identity. Your intro is a prime opportunity to reinforce your brand identity. Use consistent colors, fonts, and visual elements that are synonymous with your brand. This helps in creating a seamless experience for your audience. Music is another powerful tool. Choose a track that complements your brand's vibe and energy. Whether it's upbeat, calm, or dramatic, the right music can set the tone and make your intro more engaging. Think of your intro as a mini trailer for your brand. It should encapsulate the essence of what you stand for in just a few seconds. This is your chance to make a lasting impression. It should be instantly recognizable and leave viewers with a clear sense of who you are and what you're about. A well-crafted intro can make your content more memorable and help build a loyal audience. Action time. Take a look at your current intro. Analyze every element critically. Does it reflect your brand's personality and values? Is it visually appealing and engaging? Does it effectively communicate your brand? If you find any inconsistencies or elements that don't align with your brand, it's time to make some changes. If not, how can you make it more cohesive? Consider updating your visuals, tweaking your music, or even reworking your entire intro to better align with your brand. Remember, your intro is often the first impression viewers get of your brand, so make it count. What about music and sound effects? Music and sound effects can make or break your intro. The right track can evoke emotion and set the tone. Upbeat music can energize viewers, while a dramatic score can create suspense. Make sure your chosen audio is high quality and royalty free to avoid copyright issues. And remember, less is often more. Action time. Experiment with different genres of music and sound effects. How do they change the overall feel of your intro? How do I make my intros engaging on mobile? Most people watch YouTube on their phones. Make sure your intro is optimized for mobile viewing. Use large, easy to read text and avoid intricate details that might get lost on a small screen. Remember, simplicity is key. A clean, concise intro will translate well across all devices. Action time. Watch your intro on your phone. Is it easy to see and understand? Ready to create your own awesome intro? Now you have the tools and knowledge to create YouTube intros that captivate viewers from the get-go. Remember to keep it concise, engaging, and true to your brand. Action time. Put these tips into practice and start creating. Share your YouTube channel link in the comments. We'd love to see what you come up with.